Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back uh, to African Tech Gurus. This is your channel where learning is by doing. Welcome once again and let's do number 12 for variable if, else, and while. And in this case, it's the same as task 10 and 11, but now it's now a bit of uh, somehow different because we're using, in this case, we're using for loop and then we're using while loop. So let's see what await us. So let's see, write a program that prints all possible combination of two two-digit numbers. Print numbers, or the numbers should be ranged from 0 to 99. The two numbers should be separated by space. All numbers should be printed with two digits. One should be printed as 0, 1. The combination of numbers must be printed by a comma followed by a space. The combination of numbers should be printed in ascending order 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 0 are considered the same combination of numbers 0 and 1. So you can only use put car function and then you can only put car 8 maximum number in your code. Use put car 8 times. Then you are not allowed to use a variable type car. So let's see this output. This is the output output that we are expected to have at the end of this particular uh, coding. So this one, uh, I don't want to go much. It's the same as the other one, as I said, task 10 and task 11. But I will just have the code because I've already created the, the code so that it won't take much time. I've created the code. I will just uh, create the file first and then I paste the code and I explain one by one. So first of all, remember that we need, okay, let me copy this. And then I create this file. How do I create file? I click on VI. And then I paste the name of that particular file like that. So I am in that particular file. And then I click on I to go to insert mode. And then I will just copy code, which I have this one. I created this code. Okay, let me just explain here before I, I, I copy. Remember this, how we do our the, the comment section. We have the main, which is, should be equal, is the same as this one and then print all possible combination of a pair of two digit number without any repetition that's out then we have a return that is return zero on success in a, in as much as we will have the right thing if we are able to have compilation or have a executable file successfully then it means that we are returning zero then we need some um, variables that is in i and j you notice that in this time round i'm using i and j in the same line so that is called uh, variable initialization uh, declaration. So because this one, I've not given them a value. So it is variable declaration. Variable initialization, if, if I say int, and then I say i, then I give a value to 0, and then I do like this, then that's one now become variable declaration. So since here, we are still in variable uh we are still in variable, uh, we declare just variable declaration. So now let's come to for loop. I said that this one now we are using for loop instead you're using while loop. Remember that's 10 and 11 we use while loop, but this one you're using for loop. This one we did declaration, now we're initializing i is equal to zero, i is less than 99, and i is incrementing. So we have to increment i, then we are saying that for j is equal to zero, j is less than 99, and j is incrementing also. And then we check now, remember it's a two-digit number of two combination. So we're saying that, okay, it is a two number, two numbers we are printing, but uh, each of the numbers has to be combination of two numbers. I don't know if it's making sense. I'm saying, I need to say, uh, I need to say zero, zero. Okay, Z zero, zero to mean zero, zero, or zero, one to mean zero, one or okay all this now this is the first set let me call it the first set that is that is one zero 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 one then i come to the second one i say maybe zero one then zero two like that okay i'm not using any format i'm just displaying out something i'm just helping you to learn something okay okay all right, let me just do it with this. These are not necessary. I don't need this. I don't need this. Yes, like that. 
okay let me have that like that then uh so this is what we have now so now that we're having this one let's come now after all the, the rules we have check if this one is less than j remember we say that i should be less than j and i should never be equal to j so what next we put car and remember we have been asked to print but we have been asked not to print with uh we've been asked not to print with with printf so we are using this one so let's now do, do this one so we are saying i uh, divided by 10 then plus that number then i modulus modulus 10 then plus it has to have a zero remember like it has a two digit then we put car space and then we say j now divided by 10 plus zero remember it's a two digit so this one this one really represent one number that is two digit number one number and let me give an example of a one number that is two digit number for example two zero or twenty 20 is a, a number it's a number by the two digit number i don't know if it's making sense but that, that's my explanation that the 20 is a number one number by the two digit number the same case to this one so this one here represent one number which is a two digit number and then the same also on j it is a number which represent a two digit number and then from there we print now comma and the space and then we print a new line copy is now well understood let me copy the code now and then i paste on uh my web term so that it will be easy for us so let me paste here hope i'm not spend much of time but i've just explained yes let's now run our gcc we need to run our gcc for us to be sure that uh, it is running as expected so let's come here then let me run my gcc like this then yes ls yes we have the file here that has been created executable we have it here so now let's git add git add git commit remember we are committing with the message which is the message we are committing with we are using this one software is eating the world copy git push and then from here now we go back and we check our code waiting yes our code has run and is now successfully thank you very much i believe you have now understood everything see you next time now variable questions are now all answered bye see you in the next uh, session and forget don't forget to subscribe to our channel please please we are really asking for your support African tech gurus, we are asking for your support. Subscribe to our channel.